Health Minister Ronnie Skelton has donated $5,000 to Jalil Cameron's case in his effort to purchase equipment for the People's Hospital Children's Unit and called on VIP candidate Irene Penn O'Neill to apologize to Jalil for diminishing his efforts. In May this year, Jalil presented $7,000 to People's Hospital to aid in purchasing an EEG machine used to help diagnose patients with epilepsy and other neuro neurological conditions. Addressing the VIP's 3rd District Rally on May 23rd, at-large candidate Irene Penonil asked why Jalil has to be raising funds to purchase the equipment. She suggested that this should not be while the ruling NDP says over $90 million is currently in the government's bank account. On the news, there was a 10-year-old boy who sold water for some time raising money to donate to people's hospital. I want you to understand the importance of what I'm saying tonight. Because this 10-year-old boy, whatever his sickness or, or disease or whatever his ailment would be is, is, the government of the day see it fit to have $90 million in our, house, in our bank account. And the machine or equipment that is necessary to help this young boy it's costing $24,000. He already raised 10000 and gave to the hospital. Don't you think a good government who cared for his people would take $25,000, purchase that machine, have it installed in people's hospital so that little young boy, life can be saved a little longer and others like him? Is this a government that cares for you, the people? Minister Skelton responded to Penn O'Neill's comments when the NDP launched its 4th District Representative Mark Vanterpool on May 26th at the bandstand in Road Town. Minister Skelton says the VIP candidate should apologize to Jalil for diminishing his efforts to contribute to the hospital. We just can't allow people to get up there and talk all kind of evil things and stupidness without clarifying one or two points. And I must clarify one point here tonight. There is this young boy, I don't know him, J Jalil Cameron, who is on the road selling water to make a donation to People's Hospital. And I understand one of the candidates of the Virgin Islands Party got up and said that the Minister for Health got his young boy along the road selling, selling water before he take the money out of his job and buy, I don't know what a young man wants to buy. But here is a young man, a young man that, fought, that find a cause. The young man has found a cause to go there and do something about. And all we elected, trying to be elected, going to call it young man dumb. I think that is despicable right. and she needs to go and apologize to the young man. But now that I know what a young man is trying to do, he said he wants to raise $25,000 to give to the hospital to buy some piece of equipment. But it's not about the young man trying to buy the equipment. The young man have found a cause. And that cause is important. He can, he can probably help other young people to find similar causes all over this country. So I am going to make a pledge. And I got it from my last colleague. I'm going to donate $5,000 to assist that young man in his cause. Ladies and gentlemen, adults, when you see young people trying to do something, we, we, we cannot, we cannot use them as a footstool to try to get some place where we shouldn't be. We need to do what's good and right. We need a community that's going to look after our neighbor, our brothers, or sisters. We need that kind of community again.
10-year-old Jalil Cameron is a student of the St. George's Primary School. He was selected to hoist the Commonwealth flag when the BVIs first participated in the Commonwealth Flyer Flag campaign in March this year. 